you've had driving lessons, improved your driving skills, and finally passed your driving test. You're excited to enjoy the independence that your new driving license can give you, but you haven't driven on your own yet. This can feel a little strange at first, so in this video, we will share a few tips to help you while you gain experience. We have a few general tips to get you started, then some more specific advice to help in more challenging situations. Before we get started, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you can watch our next video as soon as it's released. If you have any questions about this video, then please comment below and we will reply as soon as we can. To start with, here are a few general tips to remind us of the basics. Before getting into our car, we consider if we're fit to drive. Of course, we would never drive whilst under the influence of drink and drugs. But even driving when tired or emotional could result in doing something dangerous. Remember that we are in charge of a tonne of metal that could be lethal if out of control. We always make sure our seat and mirrors are correctly positioned before setting off as adjusting knees whilst driving would be a distraction. We always wear our seatbelt and if we have passengers, we refuse to move the car until they are wearing theirs. We try not to speed, even if we are being pressured by drivers behind us or passengers in our car. Remember that if you get six points on your license within two years of passing your test, you will lose your full license and need to pass another theory and practical test. We need to concentrate when driving as danger can surprise us at any moment. Using our mobile phone handheld is of course illegal, but even making calls with a hands-free kit can be distracting. So we are careful when we accept or make calls. Even eating or drinking while driving can lead to danger so we never multitask when driving, it is far safer to pull over before doing anything that might distract us. Once you are out driving, you will start to experience different and more challenging situations. You may have some fears about certain things and these are perfectly normal. Next, we will talk about some of these situations and how you can manage them so as not to let your fear affect your driving. We have learnt how to drive safely and have demonstrated this by passing our driving test. But what about those drivers who, even though they know what they should do, choose not to do it? They might drive while on their phones, drive too close to the rear of our car, or act aggressively towards us. We can't control what other drivers do, but we can do things to help us cope with these situations. We don't let other drivers intimidate us to drive faster. Instead, we try to stay calm and ignore their aggressive behavior. If someone is following too close behind, then we just pay extra attention to the road ahead and allow more distance between us and the vehicle in front. As long as we drive smoothly, and don't break suddenly, there won't be a problem. When learning to drive, you may have experienced driving in heavy traffic. If you did, then hopefully your driving instructor would have given you some hints and tips, but here are a few of ours to help you. Plan ahead as far as possible so you don't get stuck in the wrong lane. Stay alert and aware of the position and speed of other vehicles. Give other vehicles plenty of space in case they change lanes suddenly and take enough time to make safe decisions. Don't feel compelled to rush just because it's busy. Before your driving test, you may have practiced the three parking manoeuvres in fairly quiet places. But once you are out and about, 
you may find yourself having to park in busier, more difficult places than you are used to. Try not to worry. If possible, find a quiet place to practice in and build your confidence before moving on to busier situations. If you don't have anywhere quiet to practice, then remember that everyone makes mistakes. Just stay calm and try to learn from your experiences. Driving at night will present you with extra challenges, so be especially careful while you are gaining the experience and confidence to deal with everything safely. Let someone know where you are going and what time you expect to be there. Leave early, take your time and remember that there is no rush. If it helps, then put the radio on quietly so it is like having someone else in the car. Adjust your driving speed for weather conditions. If it's icy, snowing, raining or foggy, you may need to drive below the speed limit to be safe or postpone your travel until the weather conditions get better. Also consider having sunglasses available for bright sunshine as your eyes will get very tired without them. If your journey involves driving on a dual carriageway or motorway, consider and plan your route before you start to drive. Use a sat-nav if you can as it makes route planning much easier. If there are lots of large vehicles near you, ensure you keep the correct following distance and give the lorries plenty of space by keeping your position diagonal to theirs whenever possible. Major roads and motorways are often the easiest roads to drive on. Be prepared for anything when driving alone. This includes taking your mobile phone with you and always letting someone know where you are going and what time you will be home. Take enough money for emergencies and never pick up hitchhikers. Do you know how to change a wheel or what to do after breaking down or having an accident? Preparing for these situations beforehand is a good idea, just in case the worst happens. So remember to concentrate and don't get distracted. Take your time and don't rush. Learn from your experiences and enjoy the independence. If you found this video interesting and would like to be notified when we release the next one then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel. If you would like to help us make new videos then please click the Patreon logo to find out about our crowdfunding campaign. Thanks for watching.